should not have skills. I should not have gone up. So, that's how I'm thinking about vlogging the camera to the side of my gym. Sometimes it's pretty empty, so I figured to not be in anyone's way, just come over here, talk to my camera a little bit. So you just saw 672 pounds from an 18 inch pull on an axle bar. Um, honestly pretty gassed, uh, four sets of six. Um, as you saw my second set, um, I just fell off the block, so I just called it at five. Uh, I figured I wasn't gonna lose much on that sixth rep anyways. Um, so with that said, pretty good. Um, over the holidays, I caught this weird cough, um, and it's really making it difficult to breathe. Um, and with Gabe's new programming, my new coach, um, the volume is also smoking me, so that's not helping. Uh, doing my best to try and get everything that's done and as close to the program as possible um, while veering off just a few things like accessories and sometimes weight. Uh, luckily, um, I'm a little bit more of an advanced lifter and Gabe kind of gives me 80 uh, like percentage ranges. So like today was 75 to 80 percent uh, and I'll go ahead and mark that as a win because after my first set, I most definitely wanted to back down to 75. Um, and I'm really proud that I didn't, even with uh, not being able to breathe. But yeah, all in all, feeling pretty good still. Um, this is still considered off-season work. Um, I am currently on a wait list to do a show here in Colorado Springs called the Olympic City Pro-Am. It'll be, uh, I believe, March 24th or 27th, one of the weekends of March, um, here in Colorado Springs. Try and get my Strongman Court Pro card. Uh, and then hopefully try and get an invite to the Arnold. If that doesn't work out, I'm already on the roster to compete in the Rainer Classic on May 4th uh, and 5th. So we're doing my Pro-Am show there. Um, big priorities this year. Uh, I really want to try and pull close to 1,000. Um, I'd like to say 1,000 is the goal, but I'd like to pull close to that. Um, experiment with the deadlift suit is a stretch goal of mine this year. Um, from coming from a powerlifter to a strongman, I think it's just a sense of losing the ego. Uh, if it's allowed, you should use it. And I've, I've always valued that as an opinion. Um, I feel like for some athletes, they should still find their raw potential when it comes to getting equipped. But at the end of the day, if it's allowed, it's allowed. And if you pull 400 raw and then 650 plus in a suit, then 
do that. <laughs> but um, yeah, some big goals. Deadlifting close to a thousand on a uh, regular deadlift bar. I'd really like to get my log slash overhead press close to 400 slash just any kind of overhead press in the 400 range. Uh, I'm pretty confident my log, if I continue to get reps in with my new clean, the clean that I've been working on, um, I'm pretty confident I get between 360 to 380. Um, then other than that, just continue to have fun. Um, Gabe has left me winded for pretty much every single workout. Um, so just try to get my work capacity and conditioning in. And I know for a fact, programming is never gonna get easier. Um, matter of fact, I'm not even in prep, so I'm sure it'll only get harder. Um, but I feel good. Body weight is down about seven pounds. I was 325 pounds at OSG. Uh, this morning I weighed in about 316, 317 pounds. Uh, so body weight's coming down good. And that alone is kind of helping with my conditioning and stuff like that. So uh, the goal is to be around 300 by March, April timeframe. Um, hopefully even 295. Um, I'd like to compete at the Rainier Classic between 295 to 305. Um, I'd like to walk around 290 um, and just stay there uh, and try and fill that out as much as I can with the lean mass um, to just be faster, stronger, etc. The one thing that I learned from OSG is you really don't need to be the biggest guy in the room, um, especially with the way I see Strongman kind of going from when I first started watching it as a kid. Um, you don't need to be a 400 plus pound person anymore to do the sport. If you can move the weight prescribed, you can move the weight prescribed. If you can do it at 280, then you do it at 280. If being 330 helps, then be 330. But strongman's no longer, or I would just say in general, strongman's not a static sport. Um, so you need to be able to move. And just because you can pick up something and move with it, doesn't mean that carrying that additional body weight is going to make it any easier for you. Uh, matter of fact, I think one of the biggest things about OSG that was difficult for me was being 325 pounds, which at regionals, I was 305 pounds. And then the Ghost Clash 2 back in February, I was 273 pounds. So from February to December, I went from 273 to 325. Um, which at that rate for anybody that's unhealthy in my opinion and a lot of that weight that I put on was useless anyways So uh, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my accessories uh, I'm gonna try and mix up my blogging style a little bit and try and talk to you guys mid-workout and uh, let you guys know how it's going Peace Say out of the vlog huh? Say out of the vlog What up? What's your name? My name's Frankie B how can people find you on social media? Hit me up on my gram. What's your gram? Fr Boniello. Yeah. Wait, what, what's your, what's uh, what's your next show? World Strongest Firefighter. Yeah. Are you, are you ready to be a World Strongest Firefighter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What weight class are you? Under two thirty. Ooh. Okay. A little beefy for under two thirty. All right. Who are you? What? Who are you? Who are you? Who are I? Who are I? I'm fame. Jackson. How can the people find you on Instagram? Fane <laughs> underscore Jackson. <laughs> Don't even know his Instagram name. <laughs> When's your next show? Uh, in 14 days. War of the North in Michigan and then Olympic City Pro Am March 23rd. Damn, we're excited. Are you an uh, open man? Open men's? Open men's bro, yeah. This is an open man. <laughs> this is a. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around. I suck big, motherfucker! <laughs> Alright, let's go double. Yeah. Nice.
up uh, my six minute EMOM for 315 pounds with the log clean and press. Um, honestly, I didn't get to finish the six minutes. I got four and I went for a fifth and I basically just, I couldn't clean it. Um, CNS is still pretty tired from yesterday's deadlifts. Um, so that's probably like the big focus is I'm just tired. Um, but honestly, I'm still pretty proud. I don't think I've ever done 315 for volume like that before. So um, I'm really happy about that. Um, training with uh, my buddy Fane and Frank today, uh, as you guys saw. I love training with these guys. Uh, we train on Saturday mornings. Um, but yeah, so next we have strict sandbag press. Uh, I don't really know what weight I'm gonna work up to yet. Um, my quads are just fried, my hips are fried from the 666 axle bar deadlift yesterday. And um, I'm just gonna try and take it easier today uh, and hopefully just be able to finish <laughs> um, but yeah so I've been here for about, about an hour and 20 minutes or so um, so I'm moving pretty well strict sandbag press and then I have some floor presses with the axle bar uh, then a bunch of accessories so uh, yeah let's get back to it come on Brian my way home now hope you guys enjoyed that little training vlog for this week um, honestly not too bad of a week uh, still pretty rough in my honest opinion volumes pretty high but with this cough and my lack of breathing ability um, kind of is what it is and I'm honestly pretty happy with a lot of PRs I guess I, I hate I hate the thought of like everything being a PR just because I've never done it but I've never done an 18 inch block pull, for example, for 666 pounds, for four sets of six. When you hear four sets of six, you don't really think of a PR, um, but that's what happened. <laughs> so um, those block pulls really took it out of me this week, um, slash today, because I did them yesterday. Um, so 
Uh, being able to do 80% of my workout today, honestly, I'm still pretty confident and, and, and honestly pretty satisfied with that. Um, even today, 315 pounds for four in under five minutes. Um, big win, in my opinion. Um, I'm really happy about that. Uh, there was a time, not even a year ago, where I couldn't even log clean and press 300 pounds. Um, the last time I did log clean and press, I wasn't even able to do 330. So being able to do 315 pounds um, for four in an EMOM is a pretty big win for me. Sorry about all the camera movements and stuff. I'm about to pull into my house. But all in all, I'm really satisfied with this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this training session. Um, thank you guys again for all the support and love. If you guys have anything specifically you guys want to see, uh, feel free to drop your suggestions down below in the comments. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this training vlog. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this week. Thank you guys for the support. Let me know if you guys want to see something down below. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe button.